I would walk a million miles for one of your smiles. I would walk a million miles for one of your smiles, Greg Scott. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters. <clears throat> the sun shines east, the sun shines west. I know where the sun shines best with my mammy. 1921, May 21st, a hundred years ago, Mildred Lois Scott was born in Flagstaff, Arizona to Douglas and Abigail Decker. With their family, they moved throughout since he was a minister on the road. After graduating in 1939, she married Donald Scott, lived in Willow Glen and became the secretary for the Dean of the Willow Glen High School. Because she was medically incapable of giving birth, they decided to adopt a son. And after searching, they found one that had been in Sacramento and moved to San Francisco in an orphanage. And there were my parents. I was so lucky to have such great parents. She taught me as soon as I could get old enough to walk how to play baseball, to go fishing and hunting. And by 10, she had me riding horses. Of course, he was a tomboy and a wild one outside. She enjoyed the outside and, and I went along for the ride. In 1961, she entered her marriage and, they, and my parents both remarried. And in, remember in 1956 in high school, fourth grade, I did not pass because I wasn't reading. And every night for the next year, when I returned to that same grade, she spent the evening with me reading and helped me tutoring to read, see Dick run, see Jane say hi, and see Spot run. What a mom. She was there solid for me all the time. She was always proud of me, and she told me, he says, because you're the black sheep of our family and you're adopted, never mind what the rest of the folks say or how they might react. He says, I always be proud of you because you make me proud of what you do. Upon her retirement, her and her husband moved into Montana where a life of fishing, hunting, horse riding, and lapidary work where she caught a lot of big fish. She did a lot of art herself and her, her lapidary shot made a lot of jewelry. What a mom to go by. Upon her death, going through uh, her things, I found a card among them. It says, Greg Scott, fire captain. This is years ago. And it's written in her handwriting, my son, my son. Following that uh, funeral in the San Diego Monterey unit where I was assigned, I was so honored to be taken by the the help of so many firefighters from both the San Diego Monterey and the Santa Clara. And the unit chief made an announcement over the radio that flags would be flown at half staff in memory of Mildred Douglas, uh, Mildred Bishop in honor of Captain Scott's mother. I was never so taken and never so proud of my mom. For all the things she did, she was proud of me and kept encouraging me to go further and further. And I think that's a big reason why I enjoyed in the promotions and making friends. And I wish I had been a Toastmaster back then so I could have better expressed myself. So when you think about your mother, mammy, my mammy, I'd walk a million miles for one of your smiles, mammy. Thank you, Al Joseph, for that song, Mr. Toastmaster.